What's up guys, welcome to another video, and this is the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch Standard Edition of s Parade on the Nintendo Switch. Um, interesting though, this thing came in the same size box as the PS4 Collector's Edition of the same game. Now, this one's a little bit lighter, but I can tell there's more inside this box than just the Standard Edition, so let's find out what that is right now. And it has the same kind of packaging that the PS4 Collector's Edition had, that cellophane wrap with that cardboard in the back. So, I wonder what else you get with this. Huh. Interesting. And this one has a bubble, like a bubble mailer kind of thing. Um, I don't remember getting that in the PS4 version, but let's just crack this thing open. Now, these things have like a tab that you pull, and I never can find the tab, so I always need like a knife or a letter opener or something to get these things open. Well, it looks like I found the tab today. So, let's see what this thing comes with. All right, so... This is the standard edition of S Parade and an art book. Same art book that I'm assuming you get. I guess that's an art book. I can't read Japanese. But that's the same book that you get in the PS4 Collector's Edition. So that's awesome that it comes with that, with the standard edition. Um, it kind of reminds me of the launch of uh, Katsu on the PS4. The early uh, the people that bought the game early on got that art book. I mean, I was fortunate enough to get that. Still haven't opened it yet, but <laughs> I got it. So let's crack this sucker open. And I always have such a time opening these Switch games. Um... I don't know, it's just the shape of the case. It's, it's like the cellophane doesn't want to come off on me. But um, same cover as the PS4 version, pretty much exactly the same. And we don't have a manual, but we have, I guess that's a how-to card. Doesn't really uh, work well for me since I can't read Japanese. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Better than just an empty case. Or better than, like, you know, some DLC and, you know, I accidentally show you guys the code or something, you know. Um, now you do get the reversible cover art just like in the PS4 version. I would hope that you would, but it's right there. And we're definitely going to flip that over because I know this game never had an official release back in the day, but that is original artwork that's on the front cover of this. At least that's the thumbnail that comes up when I play this through Retro Arc, you know, or through a meme emulator. But uh, yeah, S Parade, awesome game. I'm glad I got that cover switched out. And that's pretty much everything you get for the Nintendo Switch Standard Edition of S Parade. Okay, guys, so this is a game when it first came out. I bought all the other games this company put out except for this one. Why? I don't know, because this is one of the ones I wanted to play the most. But I missed out on it, and it took until now before I found a copy at a reasonable price. And this copy actually came brand new with the soundtrack, so I'm really excited about that. Um, even though I owned a burnt copy of this game, I just had to own the real deal just because I'm crazy like that. But you're going to see what it is in just a minute. This is a good one. This is a good shooter I've been wanting for a really, really, really long time. Now, it's an NG Dev Team game. It's not going to give it away just yet, but there it is. There it is. Neo, Neo Zix or Neo XYX. Um, this was developed by the NG Dev Team. Now, they've, they've come up with some pretty good games. Fast Striker probably being my least favorite of the ones they've made. Uh, Gun Lord's great. Uh, Neo XYX is... Uh, I, I would say I would compare it to like Batsugan or I, I guess what Tatsujin. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it plays kind of like those games. Uh, this game is really hard. Uh, you can't change the difficulty, um, and it's really great. The graphics are great. The soundtrack is incredible. I'm really excited to have a soundtrack of this game. Um, although, I don't feel like opening this just yet because I have a burnt copy, so I'm sorry to bum you guys out. I'm just going to leave this sealed for right now. I'm just not ready to open it. Call me crazy, but... She's going to stay sealed probably for a couple of months, but that's my copy of Neo XYX for the Sega Dreamcast. The last opening of a game that I'm going to do today is this game, River City Girls, which is a game that was kind of on my radar, and I only bought it because one of my local game stores sells limited run games, um, and they sell them for the same price they do on the website, which is pretty cool, but is this one of those games that you can get at Best Buy? I know they carry a lot of their titles at Best Buy, so let me know in the comments. But I got this at a place called Just Press Play. It's in York, Pennsylvania. That's where I got this one. It's 40 bucks. So, um, yeah, this is like a beat em up. Um, I have not played this game a ton at this point. I have played it a little. Um, it, it's decent. It's decent for a beat em up. You have to collect money and buy upgrades, and there's weapons, and you can you know, pick weapons up off the ground. and use them and it's, it's kind of cool and the premise to the game is these two girls get their boyfriends kidnapped and you just have to get them back get your boyfriend back and ain't no bitch gonna take my man i tell you that but uh let's see what this thing comes with i know it comes with a manual i can feel it and there's the manual it's got inside cover art which is pretty cool um i kind of like inside cover art better than a reversible cover unless that reversible cover art is like kick ass but 
There's your boyfriends right there. And the manual. I'm assuming there's a note section in the back of this manual, I would hope. Yep, page 54, note section. Um, yeah, I know this came out for the PS4, the Switch. I don't know if it came out for the Xbox or not, but, you know, who cares if it did or not, right? We don't play on the Xbox, at least not around here. Unless it's the Xbox 360, then, oh, yeah, we play a lot of games on the 360, but it's cool. There's, there's a comic book in here. I mean, that's cool. You know, again, I haven't played this game a ton at this point. This is more of a, a curiosity for me. Plus, you know, WayForward developed it. And, you know, if you follow video games, you may have heard of them before. They're uh, pretty infamous for, you know, some video games. But there's the cart right there. And the manual. And the game. And this one cost me $40. Anyway, that's River City Girls on the Nintendo Switch. What's up, guys? Just touching base with everybody. I just got off work. It's the day after Christmas, which is... uh which is my girlfriend's birthday, I think I'm going to get her some flowers. I just went to 7-Eleven to cash my paycheck while well, deposited it at the ATM. I was going to get a $20 Nintendo Switch eShop card, which I recommend doing. <laughs> Don't uh, put your card and fill online. Get the eShop cards, man. Protect yourself. But um, I think I'm going to take that $20 and get some of those uh, $25 roses in the grocery store. Yeah, I'll spring for those. I'm not going to get that $9.99 spring bouquet. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I had a really, really decent Christmas. Uh, the family was kind of hard on me because it's like my one day I've had off in quite some time. And they wanted me to like fix everything in the house and everybody was pissed off and it was just kind of negative energy. And I just wanted to get out of the house and be left alone. But, you know, I, I have nothing to be ungrateful for. I have a lot to be grateful for. So I'm not really complaining there. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Um, you know, the holiday seasons are, it's still going on. It's not the New Year's yet. It's still 2019. And there's still a lot going on on YouTube. The most recent thing that happened is the immoral John Hancock had his channel taken down, copyright stricken by the immortal John Hancock. Yes, John Benjamin Hancock. <laughs> I think that's so funny how immoral put his legal name out there like that with that, uh, God, that Amazon Echo video. Man, that is a funny fucking video. You know, that Rick put out a funny one that's just as funny as that, that uh, Christmas song he sung with the voice of John Hancock. Oh, my God. That, it's so funny. You know that John Hancock, when he watches Rick's videos, you know he, he gets shook by that shit. You know he does. You know, when you're going to upload a video and disable fucking likes and dislikes, like... That man, he, I feel like he uploaded that video just to test the waters, just to see what would happen. Because, you know, he knows that he'll see. Like, he's the only one that can see the likes and the dislikes, right? So, he uploaded that video just to just to test the waters and see how pissed off people are. And, you know, after Immoral got his channel taken down. So, guys, look, you can still watch Immoral stuff because he has another channel. The Immoral John Hancock 2. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> The immoral John Hancock, too. And he said he'll go up to a 1,000 if need be, right? So, yeah, you can just go subscribe to him there. I'll leave a link uh, down below in the description, right? You can uh, go subscribe to his channel and watch his stellar content. So that's one video. If you haven't seen his channel and you watch my channel, um, watch his Amazon Echo video. Hopefully he uploads it uh, immoral if you are listening. Please upload the Amazon Echo video. Like, God, I hope you saved that video. And if you didn't, you know, you should recreate that video because that's a funny motherfucker, man. And uh, guys, watch Rick's video, the, uh, the the Christmas song he sings with the voice of John Hancock. That's a funny, that's funny, you know. Rick should have been, uh, been a rapper in another life, right? But uh, anyway, let's go into 2020 strong, guys. You know, I'm, we're still seeing a lot of great changes on YouTube. Um, you know, people aren't uploading as much content, and I don't know if that's really a seasonal thing. I, don't, I really felt like last year people were uploading left and right, but, you know, I don't want to see everybody go away. I just want to see people change, and I want to see their content. I want to see more of that hobbyist content that I was really used, you know, got kind of used to seeing, you know, a few years ago. Things are getting kind of out of hand. You know, so hopefully the COPPA with, the, you know, people kind of rising up and setting the standards for YouTube, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll see a lot of positive changes in all my little, 
little small channels that really care about this thing and really care about their hobbies, you know, hopefully their voices will be heard more in 2020. And that's some of the good that we're going to see in YouTube going into this new year. So guys, I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. And it's like I said, it's still 2019. It's the day after Christmas. So I hope everybody has an awesome new year. If I don't see you before then, till next time, peace out.